the DA50 is the first entry into the high performance single market. We have built up this amazing product line, uh, but where does DA50 really fit into all this? As you can tell from our original product lines, we've kind of have a steady progression, uh, starting with the DA20 C1 and then the DA40 fixed pitch, the DA40 XL. We came out with the DA40 uh, twin engine, DA42 twin engine to kind of fill the void in the, the twin engine GA market. Uh, we've announced the D-Jet, obviously, which is going to go after the personal light jet market, and we really didn't have a, a high-performance single to compete in that market. It's powered by a Teledyne Continental IO 550, a 350 horsepower turbocharged engine right now. Uh, it's a FADEC powered full G1000 glass cockpit with three screen display, air conditioning system. Uh, as you can see, it's the configuration is a two plus one in the back, two seats in the front, and the interior is a, a real step up in, in our product line, very luxurious and uh, the next level. Obviously, the DA50 is a step up in a number of different directions. Yes, definitely. As you can see, the, the cockpit is very ergonomically designed. Uh, ease of handling, you have all the breakers out overhead, which really cleans up the, the cockpit in front of you. And there's also a full entertainment system in the rear with two LCD screens placed in the back of uh, the seat, like you see in a lot of luxury automobiles these days, for a full entertainment package for, for the passengers in the back or the kids when you're traveling. Baggage space in this aircraft, we realized um, that's something that's that's lacking in a lot of GA aircraft, so we really wanted to, to give people the, the opportunity to take as much baggage with them as possible. We, uh, we designed it obviously with the G1000 glass cockpit to be an easy transition from, from any of our other product lines where we're also using the G1000. Uh, center stick, very much the same. Fade of control like we're using in the DA42 and the D-Jet. So we're trying to stick with simple, simple systems and, and keep the transition from one aircraft to the next very simple. But how fast do we expect this airplane to be? Uh, we're still test flying the prototype right now, so we haven't released any, any flight numbers yet. We expect uh, it to, to be close to the 200 knot range. Outstanding. Well, Scott, we wish you the best of luck with the airplane. We can't wait to fly it.